two-piece airlock, three-piece airlock. Which one do you use? Let's talk about it. Welcome back everybody. So I wanted to talk airlock. So we have a two-piece and a three-piece. Now in the two-piece, three-piece, the differences are in the two-piece, you have two pieces. You have the main part and you have the cap. The cap would go on, this would be filled with liquid, and that's how you do that one. Uh, three-piece, obviously three pieces. You've got the main part, the inner part, then the cap. Now, why do we use airlocks in home brewing, wine making, meads, anything like that? Um, what the airlock does, it lets the carbon dioxide out. So your yeast is in there going to town on all the sugar. It's producing carbon dioxide. It will let it out. Usually what you do is both of these have fill lines. What you would do is take your sanitizer or vodka or something like that. You don't want to use water. Uh, but something that would kill anything that got into it or um, like bugs or something like that, you'd fill it to the max. Then when the yeast produced the carbon dioxide, it would tra or that air uh, would flow up into here, go down into the water, push it, and then come out the top. On your two-piece airlock, the top of it, actually has some like steps in it where the top part of your airlock or the body of the airlock would stop on that so that will let the carbon dioxide get out same thing with the two or the three piece the inner piece that's in there um, the carbon dioxide will push this inner part up and that way it will release the the carbon dioxide um, the top of it, I don't think you'll be able to see it, does have little holes where that carbon dioxide can escape. They also keep air out. One big thing in home brewing and mead making and wine is you don't want to oxidize your liquids. Um, so this will prevent the air from getting in there um, and then any bacteria in the air or anything like that if you're using star sand or vodka um, will kill it so it can't get down into your beer now that doesn't mean bugs can't get down into these i don't know how but gnats um, can fit through the holes and get up through the caps um, i have seen it it's happened to me at least once or twice a year um, we get gnats and ours. Now, sometimes it is a little worse where I live because I do have farms around me and they plant watermelons. Then at the end of the year, the bad ones sit there and rot. So we do get gnats. So what one's better in my opinion? Well, the two piece, um, you only have two parts to uh, keep track of. So that's good. But to me, this thing is a pain to clean. Um, if it gets filled with you know wart and foam and all that if you do not get it in uh, PBW or OxyClean or something fast good luck cleaning this thing um, there's really nothing that can fit down this neck and snake into the other one and you're definitely not putting anything up uh, the other side of it um, also on the two-piece if you have to have a blow-off you cannot hook anything to this to make your blow off to go into sanitizer or whatever. This whole thing has to be pulled out and then you have to have another rig or something to go into the carboy or into the bucket top, depending on what you're fermenting in, um, to do that. Usually, if you're in a bucket, um, I guess if you really wanted to, you could stick the tube down in there and just let it go. But um, I would say some kind of plastic 90 then come out to the tube. Where on the other side, the three piece, this thing's easier to clean. You can actually get um, like paper towel or something down in there to clean it. Um, toothbrush, small kids toothbrush will get down in there. Also on this one, um, 
If you do need a blow off, you have a couple options. Uh, the first one is to leave this in there, then I'm using my racking cane thing, but you can actually take your uh, a smaller diameter tube and put it down into the center. So if we look at it, now I have a blow off. Now the advantages I like about this one versus like a 7 8 diameter tube, take out the bung and put that down in there is this is a lot more flexible. Um, you can come out of the carboy, out of your uh, uh, bucket and go straight into another bucket. The, the problem I have with the 7 8 diameter tube that you would shove down into a carboy is because the wall's thicker and it's not exactly as long um, it it doesn't create a very nice bend so sometimes you have to lift whatever bucket of sanitizer or vodka you're going into you have to stack it up so that way you get your bend correctly so um, I do like the three piece better than the two piece um, if I know I need a blow off, I always put a blow off on before um, I put my three piece on. But if you don't know and then your yeast are so happy and all that foam and Croizen starts pushing out, um, you can easily, without pulling the three part off, get something down in there. Now, obviously you have to sanitize it first, but it's not as hard. Where the two piece, if you don't have all the parts, you're probably gonna have to let it go. Um, but yeah, so that's just a quick video on two piece versus three piece. Let me know in the comments which ones you guys use. Do you use both? Do you use like the two piece for something then the three piece for something? Or do you just use one? Um, I mainly use the three piece, but I do have some two pieces that I will use when I run out of the three pieces. So thank you for joining me and until next time, happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.